Okay, I'm going to do a review about the ThinkPad TLX. The ThinkPad TLX is a convertible, a laptop, and a tablet. Here is the ThinkPad TLX. Um, the tablets here can be detached from the keyboard though by um, pressing this here on the left. And now it's detached. And this is the tablet where the processor is, battery, everything. And this is the keyboard dock with ventilation over here. The tablet can also be mounted backwards so we can achieve um, tablet plus mode. Like that. Now, this is tablet plus mode. And as you can see here, is the ventilation. So these, these are the keyboard fans. Um, in tablet plus mode, ThinkPod Helix has 10 hours of battery life. Uh, the keyboard dock also has a battery, which gives an additional 4 hours of battery life. The tablet itself has 6 hours of battery life. <coughs> So let's talk about the ports, connectivity, buttons. Um, this is the back of the tablet. Here at the back, you see the ThinkPad logo. Below the ThinkPad logo is um, another symbol. This is the location of the NFC chip. Here is the digitizer pen, which you can easily take out. Um, writing with a digitizer pen is quite easy. Just keep your hands on the screen. It doesn't, yeah, it's not detected, not detected as touch input, so you can easily rest it on the screen while you write, as long as the pen is pointed at the screen like this. If you do this, your hand palm will be detected. So be careful. Um, I will also show a few examples right now. These are examples I wrote in class, studying. I hope you like it. Um, okay, so we have here the power button. At the sides on the right we find the volume buttons, rotation lock button. The rotation lock button um, is used to lock the screen rotation when you rotate the tablet. And an audio jack over here. At the bottom, we find a USB 2.0 port, mini display port, SIM card slot, which is not available in my configuration, and a power jack. Okay. Um, Let's now move to the keyboard dock. Keyboard dock has a USB 3.0 port, mini display port, power jack, and USB 3.0 port. So there are 3.0 USB 3.0 ports at the back. Um, okay, let's now talk about keyboards. The keyboard is a type of precision keyboard. It's a really comfortable keyboard, excellent tactile feedback. Um, its size in width and height is about the same as my ThinkPad W530, a 15-inch workstation laptop. Um, so don't be scared about these being squeezed together. It's just excellent, as if you would type on a normal, regular size laptop. Here is a track point as well. Um, this is a click pad, works slightly different than the touch pad you're used to. Um, everything here is, yeah, it depends on how you configure it, but it works slightly different. Right clicking is done at the bottom right, or maybe this small strip on the right. Uh, middle button is here, then, yeah, this is left clicking, but it can also be configured to make it uh, epic. Make, to make everything up here, left clicking, just depends. 
um, scrolling is also different with touchpads you're probably used to hear scrolling on the right um, this is not the case with clippads you have to use two fingers in, you can use it in any direction you like um, I really miss the physical keys because I used to press the middle button and then just move the track points to the bottom to scroll or yeah it's much easier now I have to move my finger off the track points start swiping the uh, click pads and I lose a little bit of time but it's something you get used to if you use uh, only the click pad you don't use a track point then the click pad is probably something for you but for uh, someone who uses track point it's yeah not as easy Um, okay, let's now talk about the configuration. Thinkpad TLX is available in i5 configurations, i7 configurations. The i7 configuration is configurable up to 8 gigabytes of RAM. You cannot configure a uh, Helix with an i5 uh, on 8 gigabytes of RAM. Um, if you so, if you want 8 gigabytes of RAM, you need to go with an i7. If you want, an, if you have pick an i5 from the start you only have four which is a little bit sad so plan your purchase well in advance or you might end up buying a whole new motherboard just to have four gigabytes of ram more um, digitizer pen make sure you also buy it from the beginning because there are motherboards without a digitizer so yeah there is that again um, ram um, the ram is also not single channel but it's dub um, yeah dual channel so it's as if there are two sodiums soldered on the motherboard you can't change ram it's soldered but th these are two sodiums so they work as dual channel <coughs> Um, the wireless card is an Intel Centrino 6205 Advance N. It's a dual band Wi Fi card um, with 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz bands. Also, Bluetooth is available, but I don't use it. Um, let's now talk about the camera quality. The rear camera has 5 megapixels, it's quite sharp, even on close range. I was able to take quite some good pictures from yeah, plants and other things, even scenery. But you have to watch out with uh, very strong sunlight or very strong lights because they can easily um, influence the picture and decrease the picture quality. So be careful. But camera quality itself is very good taking videos um, you can do that up to 10 frames a second but this is yeah with every lap with every camera in laptops it has to do with the interfe interface I choose um, the front camera is a 2 megapixel camera it's located up here but I don't think I have to say that everyone knows where webcam is um, two megapixels you can have some great yes camera quality is really great excellent for skype a lot better than i'm used to Cam yeah uh, my w530 is a little bit blurry but this one on the helix is quite sharp um, about as good as my id center b540 so really happy um then this is about it okay i hope you guys like the main video part but i have to discuss one more thing um the build quality um is also really good feels really strong uh, they use carbon fiber reinforced plastic but i shouldn't use say plastic because plastic feels so cheap that feels really strong, doesn't really bend. Um, you really feel like 
you have something expensive in your hands, which actually is. But it also weighs slightly more than you would expect. Uh, it's a little bit heavy for a tablet to use, but I think this has to do with the materials they decided to use. But you, s you live with it due to the yeah, smaller size and I think that your hands get tired from carrying it. But yeah. Also, the Helix 2 is on the way soon. Um, okay, I'm going to do a review about the ThinkPad Helix. The ThinkPad Helix is a convertible a laptop um, tablet. Here is the ThinkPad Helix. Um, the tablets here can be detached from the keyboard though by um, pressing this here on the left and now it's detached and this is the tablet where the processor is, battery, everything and this is the keyboard dock with ventilation over here the Tablet can also be mounted backwards, so we can achieve um, tablet plus mode. Like that. And now this is tablet plus mode. And as you can see here, this is the ventilation. So these, these are the keyboard fans. Um, in tablet plus mode, ThinkPad Helix has 10 hours of battery life. Uh, the keyboard dock also has a battery, which gives an additional 4 hours of battery life. The tablet itself has 6 hours of battery life. <coughs> so let's talk about the ports, connectivity, buttons. Um, this is the back of the tablet. Here at the back you see the ThinkPad logo. Below the ThinkPad logo is um, another symbol. This is the location of the NFC chip. Here is the digitizer pen, which you can easily take out. Um, writing with the digitizer pen is quite easy. Just keep your hands on the screen. It doesn't, yeah, it's not detected, not detected as touch input, so you can easily rest it on the screen while you write, as long as the pen is pointed at the screen like this. If you do this, your hand palm will be detected, so be careful. Um, I will also show a few examples right now. These are examples I wrote in class, studying. I hope you like it. Um, okay, so we have here the power button. At the sides on the right, we find the volume buttons, rotation lock button. The rotation lock button um, is used to lock the screen rotation when you rotate the tablet. And an audio jack over here. At the bottom, we find the USB 2.0 port.